What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Captain Marvel, mainly the uh, what the critics have to say about it. Even though there are some um, positive reviews that was given to um, Captain Marvel, not every movie critic like gave it a positive review, you know what I'm saying? Now, I first looked at the Metacritic website, you know what I'm saying, and I saw 39 uh, movie reviews connected to um, Captain Marvel, and out of the 39, 24 were positive, 14 mixed, and one is negative. Now, the average score on the Metacritic met website is uh, 66%, which indicate that this uh, movie is pretty mediocre, you know what I'm saying. And another interesting factor is some of the comments that were made in, in some of the uh, reviews and stuff like that. One example would be um, Lindsay Byrne from the Associated Press. And she said, and I quote, I spent two hours with Captain Marvel slash Carol Danvers and I still don't have, I still have no idea what her personality is. Shayna um, O'Neill from The Verge, who gave this movie a positive review, review said this and I quote most of the uh, combat combat are edited in such a choppy jump cut focused fashion it's hard to see what the actors are physically capable of bringing to the table and it really feels like they're actually executing the moves you know then there's um Barbara Van Vandenberg from the Arizona Republic and she said, pretty much, um, and I quote, Captain Marvel feels like a step backward for the MCU. And she also said, in quotes, um, Captain Marvel uh, pretty much um, is a retreat to a bland formula and stuff like that, you know. And um, pretty much, it's also mentioned, she also mentioned that um, Ben Menden, Mendelssohn's uh, character ended up being the heart of the movie instead of Captain Marvel in, the, in everything, you know. Now, um, then there's an Harder Day. Harder Day, like, I'm, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing her last name right, but she's from the uh, Washington Post, and she said, and I quote, the visual effects, while serviceable, are underwhelming and the action sequences feel clunky and awkwardly um choreographed you know so um pretty much these these quotes from these different critics are important because um when you factor in the sc scores on metacritic like the 75 70s 60s 50s and stuff like that it tells me that um Captain Marvel is a mediocre movie at best, you know what I'm saying? Even though some of the movie critics are loving this movie, you know what I'm saying? But what does that say about the movie critics, the majority of them anyway, who are giving Captain Marvel a mediocre movie a positive review? You know, it seems like the majority of these um, movie critics that are giving Captain Marvel a um, positive review are more interested in um, the SJW narrative in the movie instead of um, watching a good movie, you know what I'm saying? Another um, issue is that um, the same um, movie critics that praise, that's praising um, Captain Marvel are the same ones that trash Alita Battle Angel, even though the uh, moviegoers have have enjoyed Alita and said that um, Alita is worth watching, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, the main reason why some of these reviewers trash Alita and is because it lacks the um, SJW narrative that's in uh, Captain Marvel, you know what I'm saying? And another thing that, that I noticed with Captain Marvel, and this is with Rotten Tomatoes, and it's and the movie is pretty much certified fresh. I'll be honest enough to admit this um, reminds me of uh, the Ghostbusters reboot from 2016, which was also certified fresh, even though that particular movie was a major turd fest. You know what I'm saying? And because of 
the fact that the Ghostbusters reboot was certified fresh almost three years ago, it told a lot of people that um, the the Rotten right Tomato scores for movies are um, pretty much untrustworthy since the release of the Ghostbusters reboot, especially with the movies that has a uh, uh, pretty much an SJW like slant on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, and I thought of the one movie that came out last year. I think it's called um, Widows, where the pilot of the movie is where um, a group of women were staging robberies to uh, pay off debts that their dead husbands owe to to a guy. You know what I'm saying? That they was working for. You know what I'm saying? The reason I bring that movie up is because that particular movie bombed, even though. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gave gave that particular movie a certified fresh score with a score of ninety five percent. You know what I'm saying? When when that particular movie came out, so well, I have to ask the question: Can you trust a movie critic or a journalist with a, a blatantly SJW biased? I'll say nine times out of ten, no. You know what I'm saying? Because um. They, if you don't like Captain Marvel for wh- whatever reason, and it's a legitimate reason, you know what I'm saying, whether it's the effects or, or Brie Larson is, bl- is bland as Captain Marvel, they'll call you a, a, a sexist or off the top, you know what I'm saying. And um, then there's the issue of a journalist on um, on the Mary Sue um, website saying that, um, all of the negative um, reviews on Captain Marvel are from men. <laughs> Apparently, whoever uh, said that from the Mary Sue didn't like um, look at all the reviews that were uh, mixed to negative. Why do I say that? Because um, not all of the negative reviews on Captain Marvel are, are by men. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, of course, are, are by women, but they choose to ignore it. You know what I'm saying? I have to go back to um, what some of the uh, reviewers that I mentioned. Lizzie Barr said she didn't know, still didn't know what um, Captain Marvel's personality was. Then there's Shayna O'Neill that said the um, editing for for the combat was choppy. You know what I'm saying? Then there's Barbara Van Vandenberg who said that um, Captain Marvel is a, a step backwards in the MCU. You know what I'm saying? So. It could say, you could say, if you read like every single um, negative review on Captain Marvel, now all the negative um, reviews are coming from guys, you know what I'm saying? Some of, them, some of the negative reviews are actually um, are coming from women, you know what I'm saying? But the, um, the bleeding heart SJW is pretty much choosing to ignore it, you know what I'm saying? Now, at the end of the day, Looking at this, um, some of the um, reviews on Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel is pretty much a mediocre MCU movie that don't deserve the amount of um, praise that it's getting from the, the certain number of reviews and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, sound off in the comments section about the... Um, reviews on, on Captain Marvel, especially the ones that's giving it a mixed or negative review, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, signing off.